Today we're gonna make black bean burgers. I love black bean burgers, but I have a hard time finding them in grocery stores. This is not a veggie burger that I'm talking about. I'm talking about an actual black bean burger. Once I discovered how simple they are to make at home, I stopped searching. Now I can have black bean burgers anytime I want. The first thing we're gonna do is take a can of regular black beans. I use the low sodium and we're just gonna drain them. So these have been drained and rinsed from the can and I'm gonna dump them into a bowl. The next thing we're gonna add is a half a cup of some chopped white onion. And we're gonna also add some red pepper. Red pepper adds a really nice texture to the burger, but of course, you know me, it adds some beautiful color as well. So now that my pepper is nice and diced, I'm going to add that into the bowl. And to this, I'm going to add one cup of breadcrumbs. I'm actually just going to use a plain breadcrumb. I don't want to use the Italian or the herb seasoned kind because it's going to compete with the flavors in my black bean burger. So there's the cup of breadcrumbs. And I'm also going to add to this one egg. Lastly, you want to season the burger. I'm going to use a taco seasoning pack. If you don't want to use this, that's fine. You can just use salt and pepper. But if you do use the seasoning pack, it's going to add a little bit more spice. And I'm just going to use about half the envelope. So what we're going to do is we're going to mix this completely with your hands. And while I'm doing this, I'm squeezing the mixture in between my hands to break open the black beans. You don't have to break open every single black bean because I think a whole black bean every now and again provides some really cool texture and a nice visual to the burger. But you're going to mix this thoroughly until it forms a bit of a paste. So after I've thoroughly mixed it, I'm going to dump it out onto my cutting board. And I just want to show you what the consistency is of this so you can see what I'm talking about. So you can see there's some whole black beans in there. Now this is the really cool part of this dish. You're going to mold it into a log shape. And from this, you're going to slice four even size burgers. And once you have the burger patty, you can shape it a little bit nicer. So now that I have my four burger patties formed, I'm going to heat some oil in my pan. And you're going to heat about two and a half tablespoons of oil. So now my oil is nice and hot and I'm going to add the patties into the pan one by one. And these are going to cook for about four minutes on each side. So now my burger patties are fully cooked and they will keep in the refrigerator for up to three or four days before you cook them or you can freeze them if you don't want to make all four right at one time. One burger patty counts as two proteins, one grain, and one added fat. If you need to bump that up a little bit, you can put it on a bun for another grain. And you can add some cheese for another serving of protein. And I like to use a spicy cheese. And so now this meal counts as two proteins, one added fat, a dairy, and two grains, and if you need to bump it up a little further, you can always add a single serve packet of guacamole. It goes great on these burgers. And that's gonna add two more added fats. Enjoy.